Hi, boy and his dogs here, playing Gods Will Be Watching. Recently picked this up on Steam. Uh, I've heard it's a very difficult game. Pretty unforgiving. But a recent update has al allowed it to be a little bit easier. And I'll be playing this on one of the easier modes just so we can kind of see the story. So let's go ahead and start. Original light, similar to original mode and challenge, though you will not fail as much, still a bit evil. All the challenges of the original mode, but without random factors in play. If you want to remove the element of chance from the game, this is the mode for you. The easier version of the game that also removes random factors and chance. If you want to remove the element of chance and face easier puzzles, this is the mode for you. Narrative mode, the easiest mode and a way to enjoy the game as a narrative experience without a heavy challenge. All right. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to do puzzle mode light or narrative mode. I think we're just going to do narrative because this is mainly about the story for this playthrough. Hang in there, team. We'll get out of this, I promise. To still our research, I can understand that, but how can they hate us as much to abandon us to our death on this frozen planet? This is not hate. Okay, how do we pronounce this name here? <coughs> Xenolifer did this for the sake of their mission. If they hated us, they would have executed us. Oh, I see. Is this your concept of mercy, Burton? This looks far worse than a shot in the back of the head of me. We are alive, aren't we? I can get you out of here. Liam knows that. Xenolifer aren't assassins, they're freedom fighters. In the end, their objective is to free an intelligent alien... In the end, their objective is to free all intelligent alien races from slavery. Yeah, how noble. I don't give a fuck. I hope the Consular Federation crushes them once and for all. I respect their cause, but I definitely disagree with their methods. Nothing good can be achieved through terrorism. Terrorism is just a word used by big nations to define small opposing forces. The way the Consular Federation obliterates its enemies and enslaves the defeated aliens is far more terrifying to me. But I disagree with the violent methods of Xenolifer to Doctor. That's why I joined the Everdust Company for the Universe Knowledge. Ikuk's neutrality, neut neutrality and respect for justice, science, and truth over all the things is something I can respect. Without any political or religious agendas to justify their actions, just common sense. Yeah, it's great how the Everdust keep getting us into trouble. I love them. Jack. Sorry, I'm just really angry. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking Xenolifer. Fuck them. Chapter 1, Self-Justified Sacrifices. One year ago. We got company. The hacking, is, hacking system is ready. Liam, the hostages are secured. Please don't hurt my crew. We don't have any access codes. Good work, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention for a minute? The siege is an act of Xenolifer. You are being held as our guests while we retrieve your outstanding research data on the Medusa virus. Seriously, good job analyzing that little bitch. 
The revolution will greatly benefit from your contribution to the scientific community. Now let my friends do their work and I promise nothing will happen to you. Jack, don't let those damn guards near us. I got him, boss. Shaman, okay. Shaman, keep the network stable while I hack into their database. I'm looking forward to seeing the power of your improved hack boost tool firsthand. I want one of those. They won't see me coming. And you, Abraham, <clears throat> you are in charge while I'm plugged into this thing. Mind the hostages. Don't let them get so comfortable that they think they can save themselves. Ignore them for too long, though, and you'll have a revolt on your hands. Don't scare them to the point of trying a suicide escape, either. While I'm plugged in, I'm counting on you to lead the team in their tasks. Ajax was negotiating while keeping an eye on Shimon's work and the network's status. Basically, keep the situation under control until my hacking reaches 100% and our mission will be complete. My pleasure. And Abraham, don't hesitate to ask us anything. That won't take much time. Xenolifer, let's do this. Alright. Have some control. Let's see what we can interact with. Let's look at Jack. Let's talk to him. I've known him for two years now, but this shaman guy still gives me the creeps. It's too risky to let the net security drop under 60%. Let's see, we will charge the hack boost. Charging up, remember the hack boost is a risky maneuver. We should unleash it only when our odds of success are high enough. Okay. Let's negotiate with Jack. Don't you take another step or people will start dying in here. Okay, take it easy. We're holding our position. Okay, let's talk to Liam. Hey, what's over here? Let's not talk to Liam. Let's see if we can go listen to some music. Not much to interact with in that room. And he's got these people have thin legs. Let's read about hack boost. Liam, remind me how the hack boost system works. Again, it's not that complicated, Abraham. The hack boost is a powerful net hack tool, but it requires a great amount of preparation. The more you charge it, the more successful it might be. If you unleash a, a successful hack boost, the hacking progress will move forward considerably. Gotcha. Okay, let's talk to a hostage. I don't really want to do this, but follow orders. I'll try to not make it too easy on them. Don't waste my time, scum. And let's send him to the break room. And we're going to talk to Shaman again. I'm going to reinforce security. Sure, these bastards won't get in my system. And let's negotiate some more. Don't you take another step or people will start dying in here. Okay, take it easy, we're holding our position. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and charge the hack boost again. And so for the text, uh, essentially it's duplicated through this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move forward with it without reading it out loud. I'm gonna 
charge the hack boost again. Okay. Let's see what happens if we execute the hack boost. Initiating hack boost sequence. Are you ready, Liam? Go for it. Stabilizing network pass. Open the synaptic drivers. Checked. Ready. Hack boost ready for launch. Begin the countdown. Three, two, one. Execute. That was awesome. All right. Let's see if they move forward at all. We'll negotiate again after that. Okay, we're gonna charge hack boost again. Okay, what is this guy doing? It's not letting me click. Abraham, damn it, keep those hostages quiet. All right. Oh boy. I'm gonna go ahead and shout. Provide a kick. Shout at this guy. Alright, might be pushing them too far now. I'm gonna stop. And let's execute a uh, hack boost. The hack boost is not fully charged yet. Okay, I guess we gotta go all the way up. Okay, we're at 100% now. And we will execute hack boost. Three, two, one, execute. Security's at 53%. Med supplier, let's see what happens. Let me see, remaining flesh reparation kits too. I deserted the Consular Federation so I wouldn't have to kill people anymore. Failed at that. Let's hack a camera. Which camera should I rewire? Let's do the corridor. Oh, that's cool. Done. Enjoy the view, Abraham. I'm gonna send. Uh, I'm gonna calm. Try to calm them down. The Medusa virus isn't a toy for revolutionaries. It could mean the end of the human race. Okay. Sorry, hostage, I happen to agree with you. Let's reinforce security. Yeah, I got the data. Good work, guys. Yes. Let's get out of here. You'll never leave this place alive. Uh -oh. Abraham, Jack, drop your weapon. Liam, get away. Lead the revolution. Don't worry about us. We've been through worse. I won't let you die here, I promise. Whatever, just go. Thanks for watching Chapter 1 of Gods Will Be Watching. Let me know what you liked or didn't like about this video. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. I'm just starting out and I'd like to hear your feedback and some other games you'd like me to play. Thanks.